authorized. Hey folks, Ryan from Rogue Parts here. You're looking at an iPhone 5S that's been severely damaged on the frame. On the bottom right-hand side, that frame is dented inward pretty significantly. And what we're going to do is uh, do some dremeling, which is basically just a power tool with a sanding extension so that we can take the insides of that that bent inward aluminum out. What we're essentially doing is we're, we're removing aluminum uh, or really whatever this frame is made out of from the inside of the device as you see the technician with the Dremel uh, uh, inching in there so that we can rem we're removing layers of that aluminum so we can fit the screen back in. Um, on this one, it's, it's pretty significantly bent and pretty significantly damaged, so we're both removing aluminum from the top, and then uh, what you see is happening now is we're removing aluminum from the inside. It's critically important to do this when doing a 5S repair um, that has any kind of frame damage at any capacity. This could be in the corners or it could be on the sides. Uh, if you don't do this, you could run into a, a scenario where the, see, you could see the bend a lot better right there. You could run into a scenario where you try to put the screen back on, and you apply a little bit too much pressure when trying to put it on because you're like, hey, this isn't this isn't working, and then uh, and then you crack the screen. You could crack the glass. You could damage the LCD. You could mess up the frame. Um, and depending on what quality part you're using for the repair, uh, you you know times ten on uh, all those problems. Um, so what we're doing here is we're just continuing to grind this stuff out. We want to take that aluminum the heck out of there. It's uh, it's working slowly but surely. Uh, but it takes some time to uh, to get it straight. All of those aluminum sort of chips that are hanging on the outside, we'll just clean out with an air compressor. We'll spray all that stuff out so it doesn't uh, affect functionality of the device, doesn't get into the device at any crazy capacity, um, you know, and we uh, we should be good to go from there. All right, so we're just sort of finishing the last moments in here and to, to get that aluminum out, and we have a finished product. This is what it looks like when it's done. Uh, we still got all that that all those pieces of aluminum everywhere, so we're going to go and just blow that out with an air duster. It's really important that we did that. It's still, it's interesting, it kind of still seems like the device is a little bent inward. You could still see how that's happening. Uh, but what we, you know, the, and, and, and it's true, it's still a little bent inward, but since we took out the inside of it, uh, then this happened here. This is how the screen fits. It actually fits in flush and perfectly. We had to test it before we, we closed it. We wanted to take a picture of that so that you can see. And then here is the device all back together on and functioning. There's no blemishes in the LCD. There's nothing wrong with the digitizer. There's no cracks or anything. And so we have been successful in our attempts to make this happen.